and welcome to Community Matters, a podcast from the Canadian Association of Community Health Centres. I'm your host, Hilary Leblanc. On this episode of the podcast, I am joined by Elaine Capes, Director of Shared Services at Associum, and Joanne Hillier, National Print and Managed Print Services Specialist of Grand and Toy. Associum has been partnered with Catch for several years, offering a value and purchasing program to our members. Grand and Toy is a national vendor that offers services in this BIP program. How are you both doing today? Great. Doing Thank great. you for asking. Good. <laughs> Good. to hear it. Um, Elaine, I'll start with you. Can you please tell us the mission of Associum? Uh, so we're here to bring our members the opportunity to maximize their operational spend through shared services and group purchasing power for their procurement procurement needs. So that's to assist with attracting and retaining people and connecting people programs and information through technology and bringing efficiencies and savings on purchasing products and services. And that allows them to focus on the great work they do in serving their communities. Absolutely. And focusing on that work is definitely what's important. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about why Associum even started working with Catch in the first place and this offer of the value and purchasing program that's available to community health centers? Yeah, so uh, the question really is how Catch began working with Associum. So Catch offers a valuable national advocacy service. And in addition to this, as an added value for members, they were looking for a partner to help fulfill their VIP offer. So increasing their support to members to help them deliver services at less cost. So we responded to a call for proposals because of our tenure in the market, our longstanding relationships with our partner providers and a deep understanding of the not-for-profit sector. We were the provider of choice. And as a point of interest, Associum Gain was actually founded based on feedback from the not-for-profit sector about the pain points they experienced due to other sectors not recognizing them as viable organizations. So much has changed uh, in terms of recognition, but there's still a long ways to go for funding for this backbone of social and health services. And we're thrilled to partner with CATCH to bring the VIP VIP program to as many CHCs as we can, because we know there's a benefit to the CHC and then ultimately to their clients. Absolutely. We've definitely heard quite a bit about that benefit on our end. Um, and I, I've been curious ever since, you know, I've been a part of Catch's team. How do you select the distributors and companies that you, you partner with? Great question. So as I mentioned, we've had long standing relationships and most of these came about as Associum was building out its own employee benefits and HR consulting services. So we had our own operational needs and we forged these relationships and we actually use all of the providers that we recommend to our members to support our own business. So we've had these relationships since as far back as uh, 1984, and we know the quality of the service providers from our personal experience. Amazing. And um, Joanne, don't worry, we will be getting to you soon. Uh, <laughs> and one last That's question. okay. Why did it make sense for Grand and Toy to partner with Associum? So when we first launched the idea of GAIN, we knew that office supplies was a must. Uh, we talked to all the suppliers, but we really wanted to Grand & Toy because they were an iconic Canadian brand with a long history. So, of course, they are much more to us now than just an office supplies partner. And we're very pleased to continue working with them to provide multiple solutions to our GAIN members. So, as a trusted, authorized supply chain, Grand & Toy offers up to 200,000 products from over 250 suppliers. Uh, they deliver products and services for just about anything anybody needs to run an operation. They offer technology supplies, break room supplies, cleaning, maintenance, uh, health uh, uh, and safety supplies, paper, furniture, printing, marketing, and as well as other services like interiors planning. And then the one that we want to uh, introduce today with our partner from uh, Managed Print Services so that we can uh, let everybody know about one of those valuable services. Amazing, and the perfect way to so segue over to Joanne. Thank you again for taking the time to <laughs> meet us today. Um, before we get into managed print services and what that entails, I was very curious to understand what your approach is when you start to speak with staff at community health centers to get them understand, you know, the benefits of Grand & Joy Managed Print Services Program. 
uh, is that question, sorry, directed to me? Yes, of course, please. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, you know, we reach out to the customer and, um, you know, work with them on the challenges that they're experiencing. Um, we get a good understanding of their printer fleet, uh, volumes, um, you know, what equipment they are currently utilizing and, uh, and, you know, put together a solution that, that makes sense for them. Amazing. And what are some of the benefits of the managed print services program? Um, well, I, I would say one of the highest or, you know, most recognized benefit is, is the um, cost efficiency. Um, I, it's standard savings of about 30%. So, so it's quite high. Um, you know, there's a reduction in energy uh, because you're consolidating and upgrading the equipment, um, reduction in waste. Uh, I find that a lot of customers have a lot of toner cartridges that they're not utilizing, you know, that, that end up in, uh, in the garbage. Um, IT resources uh, is really not designed for, you know, managing the printer fleet. So um, it gives them the opportunity to work on, you know, more core business, um, critical work. Um, there's the optimization of the fleet, the ability to rem uh, remotely manage and um, the fleet. And then it also gives the customer um, centralized support and visibility uh, in the printer fleet and what the users are uh, printing and what they're using the equipment for. Um, also, there's increased uptime, obviously, because, you know, you're not waiting for, um, for a printer, you know, to be replaced or repaired. Um, it gives the customer a really good understanding of their budgets going forward, as opposed to um, not really having any understanding of what they're spending. And um, I would say, you know, one of the biggest benefits as well is that we customize the solution uh, based on the customer's uh, existing and future needs. That's absolutely amazing. Obviously, someone not in the health center world, it just sounds like it offers so much to community health centers and is so pivotal in like simplifying a lot of processes. Um, can you explain a little bit more about what the actual managed print pro services program entails? Because I think I see a little bit of a, a, quite a list of things that are also even further offered. Well, um, there's uh, management of the, of the printer fleet uh, and it's multi-vendor. So it doesn't have to just be one manufacturer. We, we support a number of, um, of different brands. Uh, it offers automated um, toner replenishment parts and maintenance. Um, there is on-site uh, repairs. Uh, so you wouldn't have to, you know, be running it to a depot somewhere to, to have the uh, printer repaired. Um, there's a help desk and there is remote analytics, which can help you not only understand um, when the machine's out of toner, but it's as detailed as it will tell you um, if there is paper missing from a paper drawer. So, so it's quite detailed, the reporting. Um, there is a web portal um, that uh, the users can access to be able to monitor uh, the the equipment and um, and there's monthly reporting that can be accessed um, so those analytics can be used for um, you know having a good understanding of of your printer fleet and um, 
one of the key uh, features as well is consolidated billing. So instead of, you know, having multiple vendors, um, you know, everything comes on one nice, uh, concise monthly bill. That's incredible. Um, and I know from a community health center standpoint, you can visit catch.ca um, and you can find out more about the VIP program there. Um, but should someone already be part of the VIP program and they're listening to this episode, how would they start um, or connect with you uh, about a management services program? Um, well, they would be able to reach out um, directly uh, through, you know, through Grant and Toy to myself. Um, we would work with the customer in um, understanding their printer fleet, uh, their current volumes. Um, and, you know, once we have gathered uh, their um, current, an estimation of their current print costs, then we would provide an analysis, uh, recommendations for uh, cost reduction, um, and uh, you know, we would work with a consolidation of um, of the printer fleet if possible. Um, so we, you know, just gather the information uh, with the customer and work with them on understanding um, cost reduction, uh, environmental impact, and um, you know, one of the key uh features of the program as well is um our toner recycling program um so we you know we work with customers as well on on establishing um recycling of of their uh not only of their printers but of their uh of their toner cartridges um, Joanne, Elaine, unless there's anything else you want to add, I think I've run through all of my questions. Um, and I will add, of course, so that it is catch.ca slash VIP. And that is magically showing up on the screen right now for anybody interested in learning more about the VIP program and Grand and Choi and the management services amongst all the other services that they do offer for VIP program. So unless there's anything else, I know we have some, some hectic lives going on behind the scenes. Yes, Elaine. Well, I just wanted to add, and thank you so much for inviting us, and thank you, Joanne, for um, being here to describe the service for uh, potential uh, clients. Um, so as, as a CATCH member, and if you join the VIP program, you, you can have a direct link to us. So we make sure that we connect with you, we talk with you, we find out what all your needs are. In my conversations with um, CHCs, I've had great opportunities to find out what's going on. And then I can make direct links to people like uh, Joanne for them to connect to for a specific conversation so that she can understand their needs and then we can move forward. So we're all here to help. We're all here to make sure that CHCs can do what they do best, which is looking after their clients. And we help them do that by bringing them things that will save them time and hopefully save the money and make life easier for them. Absolutely. That wraparound care model goes past the CHC model into the VIP program and associates work as well, as well as Grand and Toy. Um, yeah. I want to thank you both for taking the time to speak with me today. Yeah. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening to Community Matters, a podcast from the Canadian Association of Community Health Centres. To learn more about our association and the important work of community health centers across Canada, go to www.cachc.ca.